Samsung Refrigerator Model RF20A5101SR Repairs Samsung 33-inch Smart Freestanding French Door Refrigerator with 19.5 cubic feet total capacity, Wi-Fi enabled, 3 glass shelves, 6. 6 cubic feet freezer capacity, crisper drawer, automatic defrost, Energy Star certified, ADA compliant, ice maker, Wi-Fi connection, open door alarm, fingerprint resistant finish, twin cooling plus. Repairs. For the home, kitchen and beyond, Samsung manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair, however. If you're in need of Samsung appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. My Samsung refrigerator is not cooling. Condenser coils are dirty. The condenser coils are usually located under the refrigerator. They dissipate heat as refrigerant passes through them. If the condenser coils are dirty, they won't dissipate the heat effectively. As debris builds up on the coils, the refrigerator becomes less efficient, causing the refrigerator to work harder to cool down. If the coils are significantly dirty, the refrigerator will not be able to maintain the proper temperature. Check the condenser coils to determine if they are dirty. If the condenser coils are dirty, clean them. My Samsung refrigerator water dispenser is not working. Water tube indoor is frozen. To determine if the water supply tube is frozen, disconnect the tube at the bottom of the door and blow air through it. If air does not pass through, this indicates that the water supply tube is frozen. If the water supply tube is frozen, thaw it out. In addition, ensure that the freezer is kept at the proper temperature. The freezer temperature should be kept from 0 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. If the freezer is too cold, the water line may freeze. My Samsung refrigerator ice maker is not making ice. Freezer temperature is above 10 degrees F12C. If the freezer temperature is above 10 degrees Fahrenheit 12C, the ice maker will not produce ice cubes efficiently. The freezer temperature should be set between 0 and 5 degrees Fahrenheit 18 to 15 C for the ice maker to work properly. If the freezer temperature is too high, ensure that the condenser coils are clear of debris and the condenser fan is working properly. In addition, check to see if frost has accumulated on the evaporator coils. If the evaporator coils are frosted over, part of the defrost system has likely failed. Samsung Refrigerator Ice Dispenser Not Working Dispenser Control Board The dispenser control board governs most of the functions of the dispenser system. If the control board is faulty, it may stop supplying power to the entire dispenser system. If only one dispenser part is not working, Test each of the dispenser components before testing the control board. It is more likely that a single part has failed. If the entire dispenser system is not working, the control board is more likely to be at fault. Samsung Refrigerator Not Defrosting Defrost Control Board The defrost control board determines how often to run the defrost cycle. If the board fails, the refrigerator will not go into the defrost cycle. Before replacing the defrost control board, first test the defrost heater and defrost thermostat. If the defrost heater and defrost thermostat are working properly, the defrost control board is likely defective. Samsung refrigerator is noisy or loud. Fan blade. If the refrigerator is noisy or loud, especially when one of the doors are opened, either the evaporator or condenser fan blade may be at fault. First, check out the evaporator fan blade in the freezer behind the back panel. Try turning it by hand. If the fan blade does not turn freely, check to see if the blade is rubbing against something or if something is caught in the blade. Additionally, check the condenser fan blade in the back underside of the refrigerator to determine if it has any obstructions. Samsung Refrigerator Defrost Drain Clogged clogged or freezing defrost drain 
The defrost drain might be clogged or frozen. If the defrost drain is frozen, the water will overflow the drain trough and drip down to the bottom of the compartment. If the defrost drain is frozen, thaw it out and ensure that the drain is clear of debris. My Samsung refrigerator is not cooling but my freezer is okay. The evaporator coils are frosted over. The defrost heater assembly turns on a few times throughout the day to melt away any frost that may have accumulated on the evaporator coils. If the defrost heater assembly is defective, frost will continue to accumulate on the evaporator coils, and the coils will become plugged with frost. If the evaporator coils are frosted over, the airflow through the coils will be restricted, causing the refrigerator not to cool. Check the evaporator coils to determine if they are frosted over. If the evaporator coils are frosted over, test each component of the defrost system. Samsung refrigerator leaking water. Clogged or freezing defrost drain. If the defrost drain is frozen, the water will overflow the drain trough and drip down to the bottom of the compartment. This water can eventually leak onto the floor. Check the defrost drain to determine if it is clogged or frozen. If the defrost drain is frozen, thaw the ice. In addition, flush the drain with hot water to ensure that it is clear of debris.